I've been asked to explain my uh, dust DIY homemade dust collection system. All right, start off with uh, the there's commercial solutions. You can just buy all this already made and, and plug it in and it runs. Okay, they're, they're a little expensive. I like the challenge. Plus, I need to custom fit it into my uh, table. What this is, this is some sort of roof, roofing flashing. I have no idea what it's for, but it's shaped like a cone, made out of aluminum, sealed right here. And if someone wants to message me and tell me what this is, so I'll sound like I know what I'm talking about, that would be great. But anyway, I bought this for about 15 bucks at a hardware store. And the only modification I did to it was to put a hole here so that a pipe can come in. And I'll explain that, I'll explain why in a minute. But I mounted it between two pieces of wood. Uh, obviously, I used a silicone adhesive, make nice, tight, airtight fit. Uh, cut the hole. Now, the way this works is you have to cause a vacuum in here. And that vacuum is going to, this connects to your, to your table saw. It pulls the sawdust out of the back port. There's, a, there's always, this is a, one of the items that you can buy. This is rather expensive for what it is. It's just rubber. But it fits on the back and, and then it reduces it down to whatever size you're using. Uh, it still works. You know, the fact that it reduces the size down because we're talking sawdust. Anyway, understanding that, this comes in here and uh, you have to cause a vacuum. The vacuum is caused from the top. You turn around and we're going to put a uh, connection here. I'm going to drill a hole and we'll put that into my shop back. Now that causes the, uh, the suction. Now you'd think the dust would just come in and go straight up. Well, it doesn't. It comes in and, it's, and when it hits the sides of the walls of this cone, it starts to spin. And that's what you want. You get that spinning going. The particles, bigger particles, are by inertia, I believe it is will actually start hugging the wall, and then as they as they slow down, because they're hitting the wall, they'll f fall right into the bottom, into the collection bucket. Now, the, the very, very fine stuff that doesn't go out to the centrifugal, out, out to the outside will actually go into your, uh, your shop vac. But it's not as much, not as heavy material, so it doesn't clog up your shop vac. The majority of the heavy stuff goes here. Now, what I did on the bottom, this is a, a bucket lid. That's all it is, a regular old bucket lid. I turned around and made a wooden ring so I could screw it and mount it again with the uh, the uh, clear adhesive. And so it's a nice tight fit. And then the bucket, oh, there's nothing in here. The bucket fits right on top of it. Now, if I push this down, it will latch. And then it's a real pain in the neck to try to get off. But you really don't need it. It's a nice fit with a bungee cord. So, this is what you got. Now you can use the bigger buckets too. Doesn't matter. The idea is you need a place for the dust or the sawdust to fall, to collect, and then the way to retrieve it. So this is how this works. Dust comes in here, spins around, heavier particles fall into the bucket. The bucket is removed for cleaning, and that's how this works. Now, what I don't like is I don't know what. I don't know what size these are, but they're they're very proprietary, and nothing seems to match up. Especially when you come into this stuff, it, it just it doesn't match up. So I had to get creative, and what I did there was um, here's, again it's household plumbing parts. This will fit in here, and there's a nice tight seal. So I'm gonna use, and I needed a flex, so this is gonna sit on top, and I'm gonna drill a hole, put that there. And then that's where this is going to go. So we're good to go. That takes care of the top. This here, I'm going to cut at an angle. Stuff it in there wide an angle because I, I, I want it to turn around and actually push all the particles up against the wall right away, start slowing them down. This is going in here. The back end of your uh, table saw, like I said, has this fits. What is, no, this is exactly the same size. So here you have some PVC. This is what, inch and a half? That is a nice fit. 
So I'm going to turn around and put this in the back of the table saw, this here, and another piece of plumbing pipe to reduce it down to go here, and it goes in there. So that's the way you'll see it when I install it. From the saw into here, into the collection. Uh, considering shy of these, uh, this is scrap lumber, obviously. Uh, I'm into this for maybe 40 bucks all, all together. And uh, I'll put it together and show you how it works. But uh, I'm real happy with it. And, it, and it's going to be custom fit in my table. I'll show you here in a minute. It'll be underneath. Anyway, uh, love to hear your comments. Thank you. All right, I've got all my pieces cut to size. I've already dry fitted it. The only problem that I'm probably may regret is this 90 degree because of the sharp angle. What I've read about uh, dust collection systems, smooth flow of dust is preferred. So I could have put, instead of a 45, maybe put 230s. Or, or I could have put an elbow in here. But when using PVC, you know, if you put the glue on, you put it on and give it a turn, it's on forever. Now, what I wanted with this was I wanted it to be able to be taken apart. So the whole thing will, because it's all these plumbing parts, will be able to be dismantled. That's good for cleaning. The other thing was, and I didn't explain it very well, was I cut this at an angle. And I want it in so that when the... When the sawdust gets in there, it's going to hit the wall and then start slowing down so it falls into the uh, collection bucket. Now, I've already used this. It does work. The 90 degree is going to be a challenge. So let's get it installed and see how it works. Installed. Let's take a look what we got here. That one piece on top, that's what hooks up to the uh, shop back. And we have the, the elbow right there, it comes right out, and then of course travels through the wall and into the back to the table saw. I have a bungee cord that holds the bucket. I'll take a look from the other side here. You can see how the elbow goes right into the cone. And let's come around to the other side. There we go. Works great, by the way. And the shop back going to go right there. I just haven't pushed off to the side so you can see it. And on this side, for easy cleaning, I installed a uh, door. I can do two things. I can check and see how, uh, how full the bucket is. All I'm going to do is release that uh, bungee cord. And the bucket comes right out. Comes right out that hole. Also, it's perforated. Because when this cabinet's all closed up, that air's got to go someplace, so I figured it'll rush out of here. So anyway, there's my dust collection system built into my brand new cutting table. Another added feature. Uh, any comments are always appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching.